سلام لاباس عليكم كتسمعوني كان يو هير مي كتسمعوني If you can hear me, please say yes or you do so that I know that you hear me well. And if there is any mis like a uh, problem with the voice, let me know. Salamu alaikum. La best Christian. Salam Raoul. Salam Shiva. That's good. Where is the others? I can see that uh, now there are six person or five. Wa alaikum salam. That's good. You doing good? Everyone doing well? Alhamdulillah. Thank God that it's loud is unclear. I'm already talking loud, like naturally. Do you guys drink your coffee? or your tea while you are like watching the live. Mizian, alhamdulillah. Shivam is staying up. <laughs> Good to see you all over here. I hope that you all the way well. Moroccan tea, that's great. The reason I don't drink now like Moroccan tea because I don't like they don't have mint and I like mint. Nana, I like tea with nana. I say banana, and I prefer coffee because I don't know. It's just I like it. So Christian and. Uh, Kachrub, Atay, Banana, Moroccan tea. And I know Shivam likes the Indian tea. He drinks it. Right, Shivam? Kachrub, Atay, Hindi. Christian, Kachrub, um, Atay, Banana. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful word. Nana, Atay, Banana. Christian, do you drink tea? Bsukar or blasukar with sugar or without sugar? Moroccan tea bsukar or la blasukar? Is Rita here and um, the others? I forgot to inform her. <laughs> Do Moroccans have whiskey? I didn't know. Is there is a, a Moroccan whiskey? I know whiskey, I don't know Moroccan whiskey. I don't drink, but I do here. Ah, Shivam, Shrabti Atahwam, Yuma. Ah, Christian, Mabzatskar. <laughs> I like that. Match with scar, my bridge, your diabetes. And I shall have it long ago. Kurt can shrub a tay or kawa, ma bzef scar. Like I used to drink with a lot of sugar in my coffee or in my tea, but not anymore. I drink it without any sugar. Can shrub, can shrub, can shrub a kawa, can shrub a kawa, bless car. Nana. No, uh, we actually write it like Nana with A, but we pronounce it Nana. Nana, like very fast. But still, at the end, we see A. Uh, nana. Ah, Bissah, Mir for Mir. Bissah is right. Okay, so last time uh, we talked about the sounds that a lot of people find it find it like hard to pronounce. Today we're going to start with um, 
with just a little exercise before moving uh, to the lesson. Where is the can? Can you say at the beginning of sentence? But can you say something like to say? We see wash tqadar, wash tqadar. If it's a, talking to a guy, if it's a girl, you would see wash tqadri. You add I in the end. Wash tqadar. And also sometimes we don't really like... Um, can shrub? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Christian, this is the best as you said. Uh, okay. Yes. Can. Can shrub. It's not writing like this, but it is pronounced almost like this. So, can, can, and then shrub. Drink, can shrub. And uh, uh, why I laughed, because you wrote can, and it's pronounced the same part. But basically, this cut over here, it's me present, I drink. <laughs> yes, exactly why I laughed. And over here, it's me like I'm talking about myself. Anna can shrub. Anna can shrub. And we don't even need the pronouns because they are optional. So I just say can shrub. For example, if I wanted to talk about uh, someone, a guy, I will say like, like uh, for example, you drink. I will say nta kat shrub. And it's good to know the grammar from the beginning. Nta kat shrub. If it's a girl, I would add I in the end. And I'll be like, Nti kacharbi. <laughs> yeah, I know you understand. I'm always like explaining extra <laughs> just because I like um, the grammar, Moroccan grammar. And it's good to know like a uh, little different things. But we do pronounce it as can, can, it's like the, the American can. Can shrub. And the, the R is not like, um, like really like, um, you're, you're not going to hear it strong because the B after it is voiced and is stronger. Can shrub. Okay. But it's good to pronounce, like uh, to learn this word good because we drink a lot of different things. Can shrub al qahwa. Can shrub atay. Can shrub. Can shrub. And uh, the exercise basically, so it's good to explain what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to do, uh, first of all, like listening. Listening, basically, I'm going to pronounce a word and see if you can like hear it correctly. My connection is not good. Let me see. Mm, I don't know, I don't have Wi-Fi, so normally it's good. Uh, let me see. Am I cutting off or something? Mm, I don't know how to fix that. We feel Ziana and the Kawasim. Mahadamash. Hasratly a life. No, um. I'm talking to my sister. She's using uh, the Wi-Fi as well, and I asked her if the Wi-Fi working good for her, and she's she said she has a little problem with it uh, as well. So I don't know. Um, is it too bad? Dakhla Landi. دخلي شوف وش كي تخسر وش خايب مزيان ولا لا وش شوية ولا I'm sorry I'm talking to my sister but that's okay because you're hearing Darija so that you can like listen to Darija <laughs> okay uh, okay I'm I'm going to try to um, keep talking and i hopefully that is going to work better after a little bit i hope so it's good now 
Thank God. Alhamdulillah. This is what we say. Alhamdulillah. Mzian. Okay, basically what we're going to do uh, after revising what we have done yesterday, uh, I'm going to say a word. So you're going to try to listen, to practice listening. And what you're going to do is shadow me. And what I mean by shadowing is like speaking as like the same time that I'm speaking. You will listen uh, to it like the first three times. For example, um, if I said qara, qara, and I will repeat it three times. And after that, you're going to shadow me and say it at the same time. Then try to write it and see if you can like hear the sounds. And this is going to help you with your um, listening and also with your speaking because you will have to speak at the same time as I speak. So it's going to help you with fluency, not to be like too slow and uh, to see if you can do that. Like, uh, good. And uh, basically, but uh, for, like uh, we're going to like uh, work on the conversation, the first basic things, the greeting and all of that, so that you get like the the Moroccan like normal speed. And I know like um, maybe like most of you over here like uh, know the basic things, but it's good to practice starting like listen after listen from the beginning, so that also the beginners will know what's uh, going, and also for you to speak the speed like um the fluency waha inshallah so i'm going to start with the first one and uh, this word it has like two sounds from stead yeah i forgot this one steady steady are you ready so this is implorer muslim steady this is an arabic script steady Every day I'm going to say this word. Wash mustadin and then you can say and I'm sad or and I'm sad though if you are a girl. Then so the first word it can be tricky a little bit because it has two non-English uh, sounds and it qara 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 can you hear the sounds, the new sounds? What is the sound that you can like uh, can hear? Qara. Now try to practice it with me and try to write it. And it is the qa sound, of course, yes. Qara. Sadin Okay, let me um I don't have Arabic script so I have to go to Google Translate and see the Arabic um yeah, guys give me a second. So is this and and this is pro yes 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 seen right and this is mustadin in arabic scripts yes it has the qah sound in the beginning r sound and the qara and in Arabic, in Arabic script, it's like this. This is the qah sound, r sound, the sound, and this is not pronounced. It's just qara. Why is not pronounced? Because when we have like this ta, it's called silent t, and there is no consonant after it. It's just like it's considered to be like a vowel, like over here, qara. Yes, you can write this as qara, qara, but actually we pronounce it like very fast, which is like qara, qara. This is why I didn't pronounce any vowel over here because there is no vowel actually. 
قرعة is a bottle. For example, قرعة الماء. قرعة الماء is mean like a, a bottle of water. For example, قرعة د د د الماء. It means a bottle of water. قرعة قرعة is just a bottle. Me right it's probably I'm not pronouncing this correctly. It's mean sorry. Yes, that's what it means. For example, so قرعاد الماء it's mean like a bottle of water قرعاد الماء زيان okay so this is was a good word because it has the قه sound that we did yesterday the qah sound, this one, and it has this sound also. A sound. Qarra, qarra. It has this sound that we have done yesterday. Hi again. Hi, Salam. Salam, Andy. Okay, the second word that you're going to hear is khubz. Al khubz. Al khubz. I think a lot of maybe a lot of you like uh, hear, like know the meaning of word hobs because Moroccans eat hobs every day. <laughs> hobs, hobs, almost shiva. There is one sound that's missing, uh, like uh, instead of the yes, hobs, breathe yes. Uh, Moroccans eat a lot of carbs. Every day, in the morning, the hobs with the tajin, hobs uh, uh, every <laughs> like every day for in breakfast for store, mm -hmm. the hobs. Yes, the hobs has the kh sound, kh sound, the hobs, the hobs. Why are we doing that so that you can like hear like the difference? Some people might hear like h. And but we already like practice your dead sounds, so it's like hobs. Yeah, hobs in every meal. <laughs> you know, they would be like uh, if someone like uh, didn't want to eat like the bread and he was like uh, hosted by a Moroccan family, they would be so surprised. Always at the <laughs> They would be so surprised. They would be like, how are you going to eat tajin without hobs? And if you sit by a fork, they would be like, this is like, they would be surprised. It would be strange for them. But no, I don't know. Uh, the culture started to change a little bit maybe because young people started like uh, to be involved in diets and uh, not wanting to, to eat some stuff. So it's changing. The culture is changing just like the language. And uh, also the good thing about the language that is like a mix of languages and it's always changing, which is a good, somehow is a good thing. For example, now like Moroccan starts to be like opening to English. So they started to take some like uh, uh, words from uh, from English and they make it as a uh, Arabic verbs, like the Rija verbs. For example, um, the word calm, to be calm, like I'm, I'm calm. Uh, we make it as an adjective, and I would say, for example, and I'm calmia. If I'm a girl, I would say, like, and I'm calmia. If I'm a guy, I would be like, and I'm calmi. So we took this verb, like uh, this adjective from uh, English, we made it as an Darija word. For example, um, to prepare uh, for the exam, for example, I can say, and I can prepare the exam. I prepare for the exam. And a lot of words that we take right nowadays from English.
yes organ oil is like really um tastes so good but it's expensive but if you are uh, your problem is like from um she's probably from uh like uh tamazas or like uh, berber people they have like organ oil like they have it like a lot like every meal but normally like the herbs like uh, over here like they eat like olives oil mm, because it's less expensive organ oil is expensive a little bit it's not like expensive it's just comparing to um, olive oils Yeah, I mean, if she gave you or like organ oil, <laughs> and it's it's very yeah, if she's a pure Amazon berber. Yeah, that makes sense. So when you said organ oil, my mind like straight went like, is there like Amazon berber like uh, like culture? Because there it's the place where it grows, and also they have it and they have the pure one, and and it's very healthy. It's very amazing, either for skin, either for um, uh, either for like uh, eating. Eating like wood are like is perfect oil to use. Yeah, they are like really nice. They are like really nice. Okay, so the g sound. <laughs> yes. Okay. The thing about like language. Uh, if you if I went like somewhere like uh in china or something like people have like a, a way to inter we understand each other it could be by like body language it could be by our hands especially like uh we're moroccans like talk a lot with our hands so you it's like makes it easy for communication the thing about like uh people from berber like uh, some people don't speak very berber because they always like live there and they don't go to the city. And uh, some of them do speak and some of them, they prefer Berber, they, it's like easier for them. And, um, and some of them like they really don't want to learn the Rija <laughs> just because they say like, why should we? Also, cult like a cultural note. I'm sorry if I'm talking about culture instead of language now, but it's like uh, it's combined. So the thing is, some uh, people like from Berber, they really hate like Arabs. Like um, even like we are in the same country, it's just because they were here first in Morocco and Arabs came over here and they say like we should learn Berber and they kind of right. Like uh, even though like Berber is a bit hard as well, but there is some similarities like in language and um also like culturally like uh berber people like to like uh so if there is a berber ma a man his uh, family they will want him to marry from the same like culture tamazight like uh, culture instead of uh, going like and marry like a berber woman or a berber man so they want like to be in the same like um how i say it like uh like to marry from the same region in so that like the family is going to say be it uh, but is it it changing? Uh, but they all like love like um, like people from outside of Morocco, and also because there is like a different culture and also like yeah, it makes it beautiful. What I want it okay. So we said um Hanwood, yes. <laughs> What is this word like uh, Shivam, the, the equivalent of this in Darija? I teached you that last time. Yeah, I mean like uh, if they, perfect, they will put you as a, like a member of the family, <laughs> they will try to ask their daughter and... Um, sorry, yeah. They are like really nice. They will give you just the best. She probably loves it. hash, Medguli hash. Shivam, you you forgot just the H. Medguli hash. Like don't say it. Like it's a surprise word to say.
And do you have any some tips to pronounce words when there are uh -huh, different consonants in row? Yes, yes, there is a tip. Uh, I, I always say that it is hard to pronounce them fast from the beginning, but if you know your like uh, your throat, you know like how to breathe, you're going to pronounce it correctly. For example, when I get the first word like and it has like two different consonants that you don't have as an English speaker. What you have to do is, okay, let me use colors. So for example, this is the word, قرعة. So it's going to be hard for you to pronounce it as the first because we have like a uh, sound, first of all, which is this sound. And the sound that I told you like yesterday, the R sound is not even like R is R sound and we have like this sound so here like we have like three ones the trick is you have like a, to stop but not take like a very long when it comes to these words like just say and then and the red don't pronounce it like even like um but Guli Hash is like saying like, um, you know, forget, forget H as well. Okay. Uh, it means like, so Shivam said like, no shit, even. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Like, okay, there is new kids anyway. So, and already like this live is like, uh, I put it like just for others. So above 18. So it's okay if I said it. Uh, but also, like, don't say it like out of sur surprise. If you hear someone say something like, and you be like, "Oh, really?" or don't say it like uh, just out of surprise. Yes, and we say like "medguli hash," and then we will like make it long "medguli hash." <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when you have like this case, and you found yourself. Uh, where to put it? Okay, I'm going to write it first. Guli hash. If you are saying it to a girl, hash. If you are saying it to a guy, the difference is the I between L and H. So the first one you say it to a girl, hash. And the second one you say it to a guy, hash. Yes, it's like saying like a mini post, so you would say like قا, قرعة, قا. and the, the rest sound I can I can like leave it and still make sense. So for example, if the trick is go strike like this, قرعة, 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 قرعة. doesn't have to make sense like like for you to pronounce each letter by itself. And uh, but what you have to do is like really emphasize the last one. قا, قرعة, قرعة, قرعة. If you pronounce this strong, strongly, it's going to make sense even if you left this out. Even if you said like uh, this as like you, if you pronounce it incorrect, it's still going to make sense because uh, we're going to hear the rhythm of it. And uh, this is the trick in Jarija. And um, probably a lot of natives don't like, uh, you don't really like uh, notice that, but we actually, when we have a word, any word in the region, this one is like really like uh, like low in pitch, like and the middle is like even is not noticeable, and the, the like the last part is like we really emphasize emphasize it. So it's like saying like this, and it's go up. For example, I can leave this. You have here. If we have like this, I will be like. So what you're going to hear strangely is this one. So it's like saying this is in the middle. This is like a very low pitch, and this is like a very high pitch. And this is uh, how you're going to speak as a native. This is like the rhythm of the the sentence. Yeah, it's uh, very quickly. Uh, if you even if you didn't like pronounce it, you wouldn't notice if you say it in the rhythm in the music of the language. For example, قرعة. If I I'm not, if I didn't say it, it will say makes sense. قرعة. قرعة.
Yeah, just remember that in any word, always like emphasize the second part. Uh, the middle part is still like is like a very fast part, and the first one is like just in the middle. Qara. Yes. So the. I hope it was like um, understandable for you. For this, it takes a lot of practice, even for the trick. <laughs> But if you like uh, keep it in mind, it will help you a lot. Okay, the second letter uh, that I'm going to tell you is like Hanut. Salam Amira. Hanut. We come to the new numbers. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget when you when you finish the live to subscribe. It's going to help me. In the future, because I'm not a YouTuber yet. No, I didn't see the hoots. I see the hanoots. 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 <laughs> I'm not going to say if yes or not. Till I see like the other ones. So, what is your answers like the others? Hanoots. Hanoots. Almost. Hanoots. Hanout. Yes, correct. One of you over there, correct. Hanout. <laughs> Something is missing. One letter, one vowel. Hanout. Do you pronounce the same time as I do? Hanut. Hanut. Yeah, uh, what uh, Shivam said is correct. And it's missing a vowel. So Hanut. 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 No, oh, don't say like some here. Yeah. It's it's okay. I know it's like already like very 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 late over there. Like for Shivam, it's like very late in his country. Was correct? Me? Yeah. Someone like said Hanut. Yes, Raul. Raul was correct. Even if, when you put like the oot, you put you. It's still correct. Uh, yes, Shivam forget the vowel. This is you forgot the vowel, and it's important because it's a long vowel. Sorry. Going to write it correct, like perfectly. Uh, so we have this vowel over here is over here in uh, in Arabic script, and this is a show is like a long. Uh, you don't uh, have like long vowels in English, and basically the long vowels is means just like you are like really like take uh, like a long time to go to the next one. So for example, if it was like just hanut, hanut is fast, but what I was pronouncing is. Hanut, Hanut, Ha, Ha, Hanut. Same about this. Oot, Hanut. Which means store. Yeah, whoever said store, yes, is correct. Hanut. Zian. But you always so close, yes. Hanut. the end so Raul yeah Raul was correct okay uh, in Arabic there is short and long vowels but it seems like there is almost no difference in the region do you agree okay yeah um, yes and no yeah in some words it doesn't uh, there is no difference Okay, in O, we, it doesn't sound the same. For example, for me, it's same. Like all, all words that let, they, like have O, uh, for example, Hanut, 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 because we like uh, we speak like really fast and we smash the words like together. So uh, this is why sometimes we don't even like pronounce the long vowels. But sometimes in some words like Hanut, 
we have like to pronounce them because it's going to hear like as another word like hoots like uh, as uh, Shiva heard first like hoots instead of hanout especially because I don't pronounce the middle uh, consonant like really strong and this is why most of like English speakers don't hear uh, as uh, like as like uh, they don't like understand what they hear and this is like uh, some of the tricks that we pronounce the the last word like very strong the middle one is like really low and the first one is like in the middle hanuts hanuts if i pronounce this hanuts as i did it's going to be strange accent mm. Yeah, they are, they are like, they are like, um, okay, so I'm trying to find a word in the region so that I give you as an example with long and short vowels. Uh, yes, it's like hamar and hamar. Yes, this is a perfect example. It changed the meaning. It's be, they are very important. I'm going to change the meaning. So here we don't have a vowel. And hamar, 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 it's mean like red, red color. And here we have like the long vowel, and it's going to change the meaning to another word, which is donkey. It's going to be hamar. And in pronunciation, it's like really different because this, you're going to say like my mouth is not like open, hamar, 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 hamar. And the other one is hamar. And you don't want to say like to someone like, uh, if you wanted to say that you look you look red, if someone's like blushing, Katiban uh, Hamar, for example, red, and then it will be like you appear like Hamar, like you appear like a donkey, and once you change the meaning, you don't want that. <laughs> so this is why like long vowels are important. So here like Hamar, 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 and here is Hamar, Hamar, R. It's like saying R, R. Okay, it's R, R. Salam, Dani. Yes. I'm sure if there is like, a, if, if uh, I don't know, like Moroccans, they are like, you really find this word very offensive more than any bad word. And uh, I don't see it offensive because the donkeys are like really cute <laughs> for me at least. Like they are just like animals, just like the others. But if you ever like say to a guy, Mar, he will be like very mad. Yes, I'm going to try like, Mar is mean red. Mar is mean red. And Mar means donkey. Yeah, it changed the meaning. There are too many words that. Uh, yeah, it does change the meaning. There are others. Yes, yes. Uh, Christian already like answered. Fadas um, is more the degree. <laughs> While uh, Mar is donkey. <laughs> no, it's like slow, it's like not acceptable, like animal because it's not acceptable. And um, uh, also like for people who like speaking like very loud, they call them like Malik Der Bhal Hamar, which means like you are like speaking like the Hamar making that sounds. My hope you see it. Wait, I shut up. Let's make sure. <laughs> what is T in Portugal? Sha? Sha? No, Sha doesn't have uh, the meaning of shit. It means like, um, so for uh, the donkey, like to stop, we call we like, we see that to so the donkey, Sha, Sha, Sha. So it's like to stop, like stop. And uh, yeah, so shall we say it to the donkey actually? Like, um, and the donkey because it's considered to be 
like uh, like an like a stupid animal when you say like sha they don't stop so you have to repeat like more and if you say like sha to a person uh he would be like am i a donkey to you am i like stupid and this is why they get like like uh, a little bit like <laughs> not happy with it i think i did like the yeah um, Yoga Eminence. So there, if there is any sound that you still have a problem with, this is what just like um, to revise what we have done yesterday. We said then to the second part. Okay, so I know that all of you know this word, so we're going to start with the basic conversation. So basically the first part is the famous one that everyone says is the short part, and this is the second part. But there is just one thing to keep in mind why we say salamu alaikum even if I one person, if I wanted to say the whole thing, and kom is mean like you implore, kom, we will add it to something. And Ali, Allah, it's mean like on. It's like saying salam, which means peace. Peace be open you, implore. Why implore? Because we believe that each person, they have like uh, two, uh, two angels by themselves. They have like uh, two, uh, two angels by, them, by their, their size, like the, the, the angel that's on your right and the angel that's on your like left. And uh, Moroccans believe that, not like Moroccans or Muslims believe that we have like the, the angel that's on your right and the angel that's on your like left. And uh, Moroccans believe that, not like Moroccans or Muslims believe that we have like angels that they are with us. So when we say like peace be open you and we say alikum implorer, so because alik is like just like on you, but alikum is like on your implorer. We always say salamu alaikum. Like on your implore, we always say salamu alaikum because we're saying like uh, peace be upon you, you as a person and for your angels as well, even if we don't say them. So this is just like a religion cultural note. When you see salamu alaikum, this is what we mean. It's mean like peace be upon you and your angels. Okay, but nowadays people just say salam, salam, salam. And some people like just like uh, <laughs> they skip that part. If you're going to miss a friend or someone, they go straight to the greetings. Okay, so we have a lot of different ways to to say like how are you. I'm going to show all of them. Excuse me. We have this is the first one. I always like say it. La basilic. La basilic, which means like, are you doing well? So alik is like on you, like la basilic, la bas. If you see la bas by itself, it's it's good. If you add alik, it's, it's like the same. La basilic, la basilic, la basilic. Yeah, and the the thing that's a note. Sometimes we don't uh, put the questions before like the question. Instead of saying what's the best edic, are you doing well? I will say like you're doing well, you're doing well, and this is what it means without the question. But if you wanted to add the question before, like to say like wesh, this is how what we write it. Wesh. Wesh. Some people put the eh because like wesh, wesh. Wesh le basalik, wesh le basalik, wesh le basalik. So try to shadow with me when, when I say things, you want like um, to pronounce it at the same time as I'm pronouncing it, at the first listen to it, and then like say it out loud. Because when you see things out loud, you hear yourself while you are hearing me, and then you will hear if you are like pronounce it at the same time as I'm doing it. And this is why we are trying to practice that, why we are this in life, because we want to practice speaking and fluency. Even from the beginning, from the simplest things, you want to be in the same speed. It's like the same speed as a native. La basalik, salam. La basalik, 
I'm going to say it first. Listen, I will say it slowly. Then I will say it the second time, like in normal speed. And then you're going to shadow it with me, which means like you're going to say it twice or three times at the same time as I'm, as I'm doing it. It's like, it's like input, output. You are listening, you are saying it at the same time. Listening is going to help you with listening at the same time, like you are focusing on both, listening and speaking. Okay? Salam, la basalik. Salam, la basalik. Okay, now it's shadowing. Salam, la basalik. Salam, la basalik. Shadow with me. Salam, la basalik. Okay, yes, the answer is la bas, alhamdulillah. La bas, alhamdulillah. Also, uh, uh, if you wanted to put it as a question, you can say like, wash la bas, alhamdulillah, la bas, alhamdulillah. Yes, la bas, alhamdulillah. La bas, alhamdulillah. So this is the first one, just the first one. Where is my... Yeah, we either say salam la basalik, it means like, hello, are you doing like well? Or we say kushi bekhir, which means like everything is okay, kushi bekhir. Also, you can add wash before it, which means like, are you doing, uh, is everything okay? And you can say it just by itself, kushi bekhir, kushi bekhir, kushi bekhir, kushi bekhir. Yes, for us, the answer is correct. You can say la bas alhamdulillah. So uh, basically, all the words for um, bikhir alhamdulillah. Yes, bikhir alhamdulillah. So the trick is when Moroccans start like say, like saying them all at the same thing at the same times, they just like uh, say the same thing as they say. As a little bit, I will call my sister and do like a layer like dialogue so that you can hear what she's going to answer naturally yes is everything okay is everything cool she is everything bigger okay so yeah even like more say like everything is okay they don't know like really the meaning after it cool she is everything bigger is like with blessing like everything in you in your life is with blessing like it's blessed so, but the, like the equivalent in English is everything okay? Like everything okay? You would say, Bikhir, alhamdulillah. Bikhir, alhamdulillah. I'm just like teaching you that. I do have the answers for later. So this is like, we are like, just like trying to practice the questions. La basalik, kulshi bikhir. And sometimes people will, like Moroccans, they will say them all at the same time. La basalik, kulshi bikhir. La basalik. Now, let's try to practice the speed with listening and practicing. You ready? Steady? Okay. Wahad, Juj, Lata, Raba, Khamsa. Let's start. Try to say it at the same time as I'm doing it. Salam, la basalik. Kulshi bikhir. Salam, la basalik. كل شيء بخير زين سلام لبس عليك كل شيء بخير الحمد لله كل شيء بخير الحمد لله okay so this is all mean how are you everything that's over here is mean like the first one are you doing well that we have seen here here everything is okay and here is like how are you doing Key. So this key by itself is actually key fash, which means how, but it's the short form and we combine it with dair. And dair is mean like doing. So it's mean like how are you doing? If you are talking to a girl, you're going to add A. If you are talking, talking to a plural, a group of people, if I'm talking to you, all of you, I'm going to say ki dairin. Ki dairin. Okay? Let me show you. So this first part is a like key flash key. It has the meaning of how, like how are you? And then like there is like, how are you doing? How are you doing? If you are talking to a girl, you're going to add this. And if you are talking to a plural, you're going to add I-N, in. 
So for me, I'm going to ask you, Kidairin. If you are asking me, you will tell me, Kidaira. Kidaira. So all feminine like words, we add the vowel, this vowel to it, the A vowel. Okay? Kidairin. 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 Okay, now practice with me. Kidairin. Kidaira. 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 Kidair. 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 Salam. La basadik. Kul shi bikhir. Kidair. Kidair. Okay? So, as I said, sometimes we say all the questions at once. This is why I say this from the beginning. We said the first one. Salam. La basadik. Kul shi bikhir. Kidair. Kidair or Kidaira or Kidairi. Salam, la basalik, Kidair, Kidaira. And then we can say Savalik. This is from French. We have like Sava. And then we will add Alik is like on you. It's like saying la basalik. We say Savalik. Savalik, Savalik, Kidaira, Savalik. Kidair, Savali. Try to practice the speed. Kidair. La Baselik. Kidair, La Baselik. Don't forget to practice whatever answer you want. It. You can answer with Sa or Bekhir, Alhamdulillah. One of these ones with Alhamdulillah. What's Siman Salih? Sava, alhamdulillah, bekhir, alhamdulillah, labas, alhamdulillah. So I'm going to ask, to ask you and you're going to reply. Salam, kidair labas alik? Sava alik? Kul shi bekhir? Alhamdulillah. Yes, alhamdulillah, mziyan, kul shi bekhir. So your answer can uh, like uh, be as the same answer. For example, if I said wash uh, basalik, you can say la bas alhamdulillah. If I said wash bikhir, you can say bikhir alhamdulillah. If I told you, for example, kul uh, shimziyan, you can say like kul shimziyan alhamdulillah. So if you would, like, you will confuse whatever the last thing that someone said, say it and then say alhamdulillah or just say alhamdulillah. And some people say them all at the same time. Okay. Is this good? Are you practicing out loud? Sava, alhamdulillah. Bekhir, alhamdulillah. Labas, alhamdulillah. Kul shi bekhir. Winti is like, um, ana bekhir, alhamdulillah. Yeah, so I like that. You can like, um, if someone asks you in the comment section, if this is like a question, like when T or Unta, as Ashivam said, the person like is going to comment like after him, like he can like answer back and the other one like and say like Unta so that you can practice like um, as a group over there. Yes. So winta if you are saying it to a guy, winti if you are saying it to a girl. Anna labas, alhamdulillah. Kul shi bikhir. Mzian? Let's go to the second part. Where is Rita? Is Rita over here? She wanted to attend and I forgot to send her the link because she forgets sometimes and I didn't message her. Are you here, Rita? Anna <laughs> Bikhe. Yeah, I know you asked. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yes, okay. So the thing like I was like Fedas is Fedas Rita because last time like I remember that you said like Rita is here and it was with a different name and um, I forget the name so I was just making sure you're practicing <laughs> you're doing great 
Yes, Fedes is Rita. Yeah, you see, I'm always like asking about you. I forgot like to message you the link. This is why I was asking. It's good that you to have you here. So let's go to the second part. So Shno Smitek. Shno Smitek. So Shno is what? Smi is this is the name, and over here it's mean like your name. So basically, like in English, we, you say your in the beginning, we say it in the like in the end. So your name, your name, Shno Smitek. Shno Smitek. Okay, Smiti Rita. Shno Smitek. Shno Smitek. Like, what's your name? This is the question. Remember, Schnusmitzig. Like, try to hear the pronunciation. Schnusmitzig. 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 Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so for example, Smitty is like my name. So, Anna Smitty Katie. Smitty Katie. Um, Smitha. So, for example, my sister Smitha Wasima, like her name, Smitha. So how is mean her? Remember? So Smitik is your name. For example, Fedas, um, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, and T Smitik Rita. Kabel um, Shivam, Smitik Christian. So it's your name. And his his name is Smito. Smito. So uh, if you so if you want it like to to practice, you can, for example, like say, like Rajli uh, Smitu uh, something. Like, um, for example, you can say, like, for example, Anna Smiti KT, or you can say, like, and my husband, his name, and using this ones, like Smitu Shihara, like something, Smitu, for example, John. Um, you can say, Binti, if you have a girl or something, you can say, Smitha. Uh, something like her name try to practice don't just memorize my name is you have to memorize like and know the other ones yes and that's me smithy shivam andy so we said smithy smitha her name rajli rajli so rajli basically rajli is mean like um a man and when you make it, it's like saying my man. I'm going to write it for you, of course, because I know like a lot of people over here, like they learn the Darija for uh, either their husband, their wife, or someone they love. So when we sit Smiti as over here, we add I to mean my, uh, my name, right? So... Here, Rajil, when I will add I, it's mean like my man. But it's literally mean my my husband because we, we have like my husband is my man. So if you're going to say Rajli is my husband, even if the literal meaning is my man. Mm -hmm. Rajli. But remember, so this is how we say it. It's my name. It's like saying Smiti, Rajli. So now try it. Rajli Smitu. So your husband, what's your name? Has your husband Shnu Smit Rajlik? So if I said over here Rajlik, it's going to be your husband. So I said Shnu Smit. What is the name of your husband? Rajlik. Shnu Smit Rajlik. Mzian Rajli Smitu Abdullah. Abdullah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Practice, practice that as much as you can. So, for example, if you have like um, friends, if you have like uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and uh, or his family, your family, try to practice that with as a paragraph. For example, and as Miti Katie, like my sister Smitha Wasima, Nta Smitik Shivam, and the others. For example. For example, uh, someone like uh, Smitu, uh, let's say Adam. So practice that. So Smiti, Smitha, Smitik, Smito. Okay? Smiti, Smitha, Smitik, Smito. Okay? Now just with the listening. 
to know Smithic. Now I want you like to put everything down, listen the first time, the second time, shadow my voice, my my speed at the same time. Schnusmitsk. 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 Okay? I said it three times. Schnusmitsk. That's fast. Okay? We said smithy. 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 Notice the movement of my mouth as well. So you want like, to do the same thing that I do. This is why we say shadowing. It's like doing everything I do at the same time, same way. Smithy. 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 Smitha. 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 Her name. Smitu. 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 His name. Smitik. 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 Your name. Uh, did I forget anything? Yeah, if it was like for all, for example, all of you, I will say Smith Kum, Smith Kum, Smith Kum. It's like Salamu Alikum. That's Kum in the end. It's mean like your name as a pro. Smith Kum. So Smithy, Smitha, Smitu, Smitik, Smitu, Smith Kum. And also we can say our name, Smitna. We will add N I in the end. Smitna. Smitna. Okay. I hope that was clear and you practice it as well. Good. Marti. Yes, Marti. Marti. Marti or Marati. Some people pronounce it Marati. Yes, Christian, yeah, you're correct. So, uh, yes. So, for example, in my region, we see Marati. And in the north, they see Marti. In the north, they see Marti in uh, Rabat, Sali, the middle area of Morocco, this is Marathi. Is he from the north? Is your hobby from the north? It will make sense it's from the north. My father from the north, my mom is from the middle and I'm a mix of, uh, <laughs> I know both of the, the accents, I know both of the words. In Marrakesh. Mm. I think Marrakesh is going to be Marathi. Marathi as the uh, same as uh, in Rabat. I, I haven't been to Marrakesh before. But my mom was, she grew up almost like around over there. And then uh, she came to Rabat area. I grew up always like in Rabat Sali area, but my mom had Marrakesh kind of like area, like accent. And my father had like um, kind of North accent. And they had friends from all over <laughs> Morocco, so. It's better to stick it away from Marrakesh. Yeah, they could say Marti because uh, like, I think it's like from the Berber kind of Marti. Yeah, I use Marathi. I don't use Marathi. I don't have a wife, but I, if I w would use like Marathi or like uh, his wife or something, I would say Marathi. But I do he I'm hear Marathi as well. Like I do hear it. My mom. My mom was like from, uh, um, she was from like Karat uh, Sravna. There is a place over there, but she moved somewhere in Marrakesh, I don't know. Um, but she said that. Okay, so yes. Shall we move to the next one? I hope that you practice in out loud. Oh, yes. Again? Oh, that's bad. 
I don't know what's the problem with the, the Wi-Fi. It's normally like I just like um, feel it like this morning, so it should be strong because that's weird. Is it still frozen? Oh, great. Um, yeah, sorry, Brian. I'm sorry for all of you because I don't know. I think maybe because the, because it's Ramadan and a lot of people like stay up the night. And um, when like it's like it's nighttime, everyone is using it. And probably this is why it's like slower. Um, yeah. Because there is just me and my sister. We don't use it a lot. So. Uh, it's not like it's like we use it like very heavy. It's just the stream that's that, that I'm doing right now. That's it. Thank God. Okay, shall famarak is literally mean like how how much in your age, but the equivalent in English is how old are you? So how do we say Meshi Mushkil? Meshi Mushkil. <laughs> yes, I love this word also, <laughs> like Hania. Uh, yes, Hania is me, no worries. For people who don't know, Hania is no worries. Meshi Mushkil Hania. Yeah. Uh, add to it Brian Hania, that's uh, Rita wrote. Hania mean like no worries. Meshi Mushkil Hania. Okay, shukran. So shall famrex again over here is same as I showed you in Smithy and uh, Smithy Smitha Smithix Smithu to mean like your name her name and all of that same about the age. So here your name shall famrex shall famrex like how much in your age this is what we use shall famrex shall famrex shall Famrak. Okay. Did you write it down? Try to take notes. Shall famrak. Shall famrak. So how I pronounce it? Oh yeah, I forgot the <laughs> the H, sorry. This is should be like C H. I'm sorry. Shall sh sh shall shall famrak. Shall famrak. I just noticed. Shall famrak. Okay, so shelf amrak. Let's like practice this sentence good. Shelf amrak. Shel shelf amrak. Shel amrak. Shel amrak. You might hear some people say amrak. We don't like a lot use it. We say amrak. Shelf amrak. But either way is correct. Shel amrak. Shel amrak. Shall You forgot the f. How much in your age? Shall famrak. So what we say, Amri is my age. Amri, Amrak is your age. Amarha is like her age. If we add you instead of this, is going Amru is his his. The meaning like how old are you? But the literal meaning is like how much in your age? Yes, shall is how much? F uh, is N, Amar is A, yes. <laughs> That's okay. Meshi Mushkil, Hania. Meshi Mushkil. So try to practice this. Amri is my ish. Amri, Amri, Amri. If we replace this with the k, it will be Amrak is your age. Amrak, Amrak, Amrak. If you're going to replace it with uh, H A, it means Amarha, Amarha, her age, Amarha. 
if he replaces with you, is going to be like Amro his age. Amro. So Amri, Amrik, Amrha, Amro. Okay? Amri, Amrik, Amrha, Amro. So the answer is either with Andy or Amri. For example, I'm 26. I can say uh, Andy Sawashin is like I have 26. And over here, Amri Sawashin is like uh, my age is 26. Or I can say just like Anna Sawashin, which means like just the number. You can use just a number. So over here, you're going to change it. Andy, like I have Andy. Is like I have, and then the number, or and look, you have. If you're going to replace this over here, and ha, and then and yes, Shivam, correct. Amri, Rbawishirin, or Andi, Rbawishirin. Both of them are correct. Okay, so again, I'm going to read it for the pronunciation Amri, Amrak, Amrha, Amro. Here, and the, and the, and ha, and do. Okay? Amri, amrak, amrha, amro, and the, and the, and ha, and do. And there, here, either you say and the something or amri something. Okay? So that was the question. Shhalf amrak, shhalf amrak. And this is how you can reply or talk to someone else. Okay, let's see the, the comment section. Amari let's talk him seen. Let's talk him seen. Let's talk him seen without the city. Let's Yes, correct. For numbers, we use the numbers from the. We're going to use it from like. How to say that? Like from the second letter to the, the first one. For example, we wouldn't say like 38, we will say 80, like uh, we will start with eight first. This is in Arabic. Yes, you will say andi, tmniya, utlati, for example. So tmniya is eight, tlatin is 30. Brian, 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 Brian right? Brian, yes, I'm um, yes. Uh, even like my favorite, like country, like sooner, but like Brian. Okay, Andy, Hamsa, Utlatin. Andy, Hamsa, Utlatin. Yes, you combined it, but that's okay. Hamsa, Utlatin. Yeah, so for you, you will say like Andy, Hamsa, Utlatin. Shivam said Andy, Rabawishirin. Mahut, Smith, Andy. And it's new Latin. Okay. And Amri Jujuishin. No, uh, that's not correct. I'm sorry, we didn't do my stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yes, Brian, that's correct. I'm so Latin. You're 35. You said Amri Juju Ishirin. Juju Ishirin. So you are 22, right? So, yes, then we're starting like, like you correctly you're starting from this to this, like from this number. This number, when it's by itself, when by itself it's called Juj, like this, Juj. When it's like 102, when it's like just by itself or before it's a zero. We call it like juj, but if it's like combined like with another like a letter before it, we call it name, nil, nil or name, and it's written like this. This is n, nin, nin, nin or shirin or nin or shirin. Both are correct pronunciation. Yes, nin or shirin. That's okay. And it's okay to make mistakes. Making mistakes and uh, having the correction is going to make you remember more. This is why I'm saying, like, whenever like you are live, just make mistakes. That's okay, so that you will remember the correction. or That's good. Um, 
Thank you. That's very nice of you, Shiva, to say. I really appreciate all like your uh, nice comments and uh, uh, your encouragement. Like it really means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay, that's a hard question for me. I, I as I said, like I grew up like um, I grew up in Rabat, Salil, and uh, I I like I like my father and my mom from different places and my friends from different places, and I do hear like both of them, and neither of them sounds bad if I hear this. But normally I see Nino Shirin. Yes, I think maybe Nino Shirin is better. Also, like easier in pronunciation, but if you say name, it's going to say it sounds like normal. Really, is your kid like learning as well? That's really nice. I wanted to make a series for kids, but I just haven't done that yet. I love quarantine somehow because it gives me a little extra time to do the things that I love. I'm happy to hear that. Like I'm happy to hear that. But I, I probably should like say like this bad words if I ever like thought of saying it, saying them. I'm sorry about that. But I think kids like either way the uh, you might they might have like difficulties just when they are like um like kids, but like either way, we have the capacity to learn either way. So we did uh, so far, like, uh, and uh, how old are you? What's your name? I love kids. I love kids, like in all ways, they, they are like, like, they are special and, yeah, I'm glad that he is learning. It's good that, that he's going to learn so that he can like talk with his father and his uh, grandparents. And uh, yes, and his uh, grandparents. And uh, yes, and especially Moroccan grandparents, they are the best. I think all grandparents around the world, they are the best. They are the best, like, uh, they are like um, amazing, like literally. I wish I still had them. Okay, so um, I hope that you practice that good. Salamu alaikum. Kida yalla bas. Be khair. Kul shi mzian. Kul shi be khair. Alhamdulillah. We said shnu smitik, smitha, smitu, smitik, smitkum. And then the age, like shhal fa amarak, shhal fa amarak, and then amari. Uh, something Amar Hashi Haja and um, I forgot the verb Hanus. Uh, no, no, Hanus is not a verb, Hanus is the store. <laughs> okay, so Hut, Hut is fish, Hanut, Hanut is uh, the store. Okay, so I don't know most English speakers find it hard, but hopefully like I can like break it down. So <laughs> I don't know most English speaker find it hard, but hopefully like I can like break it down. So and the thing that's why they find it hard. Yeah, the noun, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, is a noun. Sbah, it's ending with the noun. Sbah, it's ending with the ha sound, but li like right for the like after like uh, the, the words after it, it started with the ha sound, which is like um, hard to combine ha and ha because they are almost similar for some people, especially for their ear. They they, do, they don't hear a lot of difference, but we already practiced yesterday the sounds. So I think today is going to be easier for you to pronounce this. Sbah al-khair. Sbah al-khair, which is good morning. But the literal meaning, 
I'm always going to give you the good meaning, the English equivalent, but the literal meaning in Darija. So, Sabah al Khair is like uh, morning of the blessing. Like you, you woke up on the blessing. So if you are already woke up in the morning, so you are already blessed because you are still alive and you have like a future day and days and you know, you are you are alive. So it's like a new day for you. So we say Sabah al Khair, morning of the blessing, but it's mean good morning. Sabah al Khair, try to pronounce it. Write it first, Sabah al Khair. This is the emphatic sound, S, it's not S. It's not say, it's s, s. Sbah al khair. Sbah al khair. Okay, I'm going to put it down. Now try to hear me the first time. Second time, try to shadow me. Okay? Sbah al khair. Msal khair for the evening. Okay, so the reason why is like, um, is from the. Salkhir, we don't use it as often. What's the matter with you? It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Yes, uh, there is like a lot of different ways to say good morning. This is the the normal, like, first one is Sabah al Khair. Sabah al Khair. Sabah al Khair. And we, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm talking with my sister because uh, she's also talking on the phone. It was like too many sounds. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. So th this is me like a morning of listen. And uh, there is different ways to say good morning, just to exchange things up. So yeah, sabah al khair, the normal one. You can replace it with nor, which means the light, the morning of light, sbah nor, or sbah al word is the morning of flowers, al word is flowers, or the last one which I like, yasmin, which is jasmine, it means the morning of jasmine. So you can choose which one you like, we have a different ones, and I'm going to give a cultural note like later, but for now, Sabah al khair is the normal, like standard one that a lot of people say it. You go to say it to uh, your boss, anyone like um, normal person. But if you are talking to your hubby or like um, you're someone like for my friend, like my really best friends, I might like be a little futures and say something nice like that. But yes, okay, so. This is what I wanted to say. So more don't so for girls. I'm going to say for girls first, then for Brian, like Brian, then I will answer you. Girls, don't expect for guys, Moroccan guys, especially to tell you like Sbah Nor or Sbah Word or Sbah Yasmin. They normally use just Sbah al Khair, just the normal one, this one over here. Why? Because Moroccan men grow up not to show a lot of emotions. So basically, when he's talking to you, it's going to be really hard for him to express how he feels. He might do it like when you both like are together, but not in front of his family or like uh, people. So don't expect him to say like Sabah or word. But he is, he will appreciate you to saying it, uh, even though. <laughs> no, it's not like the art code or anything. They grew up this way. So like literally men from like, uh, like they were little, they were like, don't cry, don't, oh my God, you know, they don't, it's like they showing them, don't show emotions. And they grew up like a, a little like, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, but the, the girls are like the opposite. The girls are like really sweet and they really like saying like nice words. Um, yeah, so yeah, just understand the culture a little bit different. For you, Brian, uh, yeah, Brian, she would appreciate it if you, if you say Sbah al Khair, she would appreciate that you all learned the language, first of all. Second of all, you can say Sbah um, Noor to her. Uh, guys normally say Sbah al Khair and they add something with it, like uh, good morning, babe, or something like that. So, for example, they would say like Sbah al Khair, Habiba. Or sabah uh, al khair, or something that like that, you know. 
they will add something like nice with the normal good morning or um, yeah, probably they would see something like that. I don't know. I don't date Moroccan men, but they normally like uh, say Sabah al khair and they add something with it. Yes, Hiati. Yes, this is, yeah. This is Hiati. I will write them while I'm saying it. So Brian, you will say, for example, Sabah al khair and then you can say Habiba, which means like almost like, like hobby or uh, like a uh, babe. Like Habiba or um, Kbida. Uh, I like that word too. So kbida basically means like the liver, it's like saying my liver, but actually it's like, because liver is like very soft and nice. And and uh, if you ever like touch the, the liver is like, uh, is like very soft and, um, and nice. If you ever like eat it, like uh, a fried, like liver in Morocco, if you test it, you would like it. Even it sounds weird, but it tastes good. Uh, so if you said kbida, it's like really sweet also. So you say sabah al khair habiba or sabah al khair kbida. Yeah, Amri, sometimes. Uh, yeah, some people say it, Amri, like my life. So habiba. Uh, what else did they say? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think as a man. <laughs> Yeah, those are like good. Hello, Wajib. Yeah. So I said, Sbah al khair, Sbah al nur, Sbah al word, Sbah al yasmin. Three of them are good. Yeah, you can also like when you say Habiba, you can, yeah, ma shiri, shiri. Without saying ma, you can just say shiri. We, we will say like Sbah al khair, shiri. This is how we say it. Uh, and we pronounce it like really like it's not as same as French probably like Chile. Sorry, I need to drink some water. Yes, al khair habiba, sabah al khair kbida, sabah al khair amri, sabah al khair shiri, hiati. Um, yeah, okay, so the first, the okay, normally like the first one who says good morning, this is Bah al Khair, and the second one like says Bah al Nur, um, almost like Fusha because just to exchange uh, the boredom of saying good morning, good morning. So we normally like say like good morning, and the other one is going to say like um, uh, Sbah al Nur or Sbah al Yasmin uh, or Sbah al Word. Sweet words, kind of like um, sounds like for them like too much, but okay. So you can never go wrong with this one and this one. If you say sabah word like the morning of flowers, like uh, um, if you say that to a girl, she will appreciate it. Really, uh, they find it weird to hear nice words <laughs> or using them. But for you, Brian, she will appreciate you saying all of these. Okay. So we said Sbah al khair, Sbah al nur, Sbah al word, Sbah al yasmin. Sbah al khair, Sbah al nur, Sbah al word, Sbah al yasmin. Okay, so you add like the, the sweet things Sbah al khair habiba. Sabah al khair kbida, sabah al khair amri, sabah al khair shiri. Nisid shi hada wasimu. Yeah, I think I said it all. Yeah, sometimes we say habiba diya, my baby of mine. Oh, sorry, Habiba. Yes, Rita, what did he wrote? So basically, Sbah al Khair, this is like the, the, the normal one. So the other ones, you might use them like Marasil Aziza, yes. 
yeah is um leziza is like dear to my heart like marci leziza yes marci leziza um yes you do use this and also like um yeah i just forgot it my mind went blank um marci leziza and there is also another word trying to remember Yeah, there is something my father was like calling my mom all the time and I forgot. <laughs> yeah, and also they use like the cute name, for example, depending on what your name is. So they would like make it like a little cuter. Um, yeah, I think like, uh, yeah, more organ affairs when it comes to this. But yes, Rita, if you, follow, you you remember any of the words that your husband saying, write them down and I can explain them. And then we have like Tsbah ala khair, Tsbah ala khair, which means to wake up on the goodness, on the blessing. Al khair is the blessing, but literally uh, the equivalent in English is good night. But Tsbah is like to wake up, ala is on, al khair is the blessing. If you are saying it to a girl, you would add I. Subhi ala khair. Subhi ala khair. Okay? Subhi ala khair. Okay? Subah al khair is good morning. Subhi ala khair is good night. Subhi ala khair. Okay? Excuse me, I'm sorry. This is what happens when I drink a lot of coffee and a lot of water. <laughs> So now it's shadowing time. So the last thing that we said is Sbah al khair. Sbah al khair. Say it at the same time I'm saying it. Sbah al khair. And don't forget it's the ha sound in the end. Sbah. Sbah. Sbah al khair. Open your mouth when you say This is a long vowel. It's not sbah. Sbah. And this is the importance of uh, long vowels that you don't have as an English speaker because it uh, changed the meaning. For example, if you didn't say sbah and you said just sbah, it's going to be as the verb like sbah to swim and it changed the meaning. This is why like uh, it's important to pronounce it uh, correctly. Sbah al khair. Sbah al khair. Okay? And then you would say it faster. Sbah al khair. Sbah al khair. Sbah. Your mouth is going to open this way. Sbah al khair. Sbah. Okay? Sbah al khair. Sbah al khair. Are you practicing with me at the same time? Are you shadowing me? Sbah al khair. Okay? Sbah al khair. And then the second one is sbah nur. Sbah nur. Sbah nur. Okay. Sbah al khair. Sbah nur, the third one, Sbah al word, which means flower of morning, Sbah al word. Naam is from standard Arabic, but we do use it uh, sometimes. Naam wa iyyehun ah. So, uh, okay, iyyeh in Marrakesh area, they use iyyeh a lot. Ah is like she said, ah, ah, can smak or ah, something. Uh, is like in Arabat kind of area and um, Naam we use this sometimes like to emphasize like Naam and but we don't say Naam we say Naam for example if my sister like called me I would say like I would respond, respond to her by Naam Naam like yes mm -hmm. yeah yeah the other one is a uh, Okay, Sbah al khair, Sbah al nur, Sbah al word, Sbah al yasmin. Try to practice the speed. Sbah al khair, Sbah al khair, Sbah al khair, Sbah al khair. Oui, 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 oui. Yes, we see we also like from French. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's just like you, you, you hear yeah. It's like yeah. Okay, Mzian, you following me so far? Yeah, 
نعم Okay, so brain, just remember that now we, we mostly like use it when someone coin us, like for example, they call your, like your name and you will say like, Nam, yes, like to say I'm here. Uh, but we don't say Nam, Nam as in standard Arabic, you're going to remove the first vowel and you're going to say Nam, Nam, Nam. It's going to write like this, Nam. It's good. So let's uh, say what you have done so far to practice on again. It says, Salamu alaykum. Salamu alaykum. We said as a note, we use Salamu alaykum in plural because we say it uh, to person and the angel that surrounded them. This is what we say it in plural. But if you said just Salam, it's the uh, it's same. It's like really normal. Salamu alaykum. And the response is alaykum salam. Alikum salam. Try to listen to the pronunciation. It means yes. So yes, it means yeah. And we have a uh, and we have nam. Okay. Labas, labas alik. We said labas alik. Be khair. Kul shimziyan. Koshim Zian, Koshi Labas, what's S? Behir, and same thing that someone said. For example, if I'm talking to someone and I said him like, Salam, Labas Alik, he will say like, Labas, Alhamdulillah. Yes, I love that. You guys, like, um, if sometimes I didn't see one of the comments, you answer each other. Yeah, I want you guys to help each other doing that, and especially like in uh, the group. Uh, I created that group so that like I can help you when I can, when I do have time. But at the same time, try to help each other because I know like the level is different. Some people like learn the Asia before some others. Some others are still new. So try to help each other to practice with each other, and uh, this way you're going to learn faster. And whenever someone need help, they can like Gmail me in my Gmail. If you have any questions, you can always, always like, uh... yeah, I just remember, yeah, Shivam, I didn't answer your Gmail, but I read it and everything you sent me is correct. Yeah, I'm answering you now, <laughs> now live, like everything is correct. Yes, so, I hope that the lesson was like uh, like uh, helpful for you. Don't forget that uh, to practice every day. I'm going to try to like uh, be like every day like live like science like and for this week. I don't have like a very busy shoot way for this week, so I can't do that. So I said like salamu alaikum. Try to practice the speed with shadowing, speaking out loud, recording yourself. Try to record yourself and, um, uh, you, you know, to play it, to, to hear if you are, like, pronouncing the same way as someone, like, yes. Yes, Rita, I know that you are, like, uh, practicing and this is, like, really amazing. And um, it's good that you are taking notes. And I hope that everyone taking notes when we have, like, live so that we can, like, uh, revise them before each class. <laughs> Morocco is always laughing. Doesn't mean he's laughing at you, but he's laughing that because a lot, a lot of Moroccans thinks, think that uh, Darija is hard and no one can learn it. And he, like most of like nineteen, I can say ninety eight percent of Moroccan people, they don't even know that uh, Darija has rules or it can be taught or anything like that. And um, yeah, like unless like if people like go to university and they are like specifically go and do a research on that, which I did, but normal people don't even be aware that Darija is like a language with rules and everything. Thank you, Brian. 
you're very welcome على واجب العفو I'm glad that I'm helping you guys somehow and um, yeah it makes me happy to see anyone like learning something new uh, it makes me happy Shivam you have to practice more don't forget our lessons Yes, of course. Yes, this is why I created the group from the first time. I said uh, I want you guys to share with each other and help each other. And whenever like I'm free, I'm going like uh, to help you. And also sometimes we do like uh, uh, we do like a meeting on Zoom uh, to practice all of us while I'm with you in the group and uh, the lives like today. Yeah, you can share, for example, uh, free Darija books. Yes, yeah, just make sure it's a good thing. Just is it? Just make sure it's that you're sharing something that is good. That's nice. Yes, uh, my lives uh, are on YouTube, but we do have uh, sometimes meeting on uh, Zoom, the application, like as an app. Um, I try my best sometimes like to, to do it like... Uh... I'm glad that you're learning something new. Inshallah. Yes, uh, I think I might like uh, be able. I'm going to like uh, be on Zoom probably Sunday, probably the weekends, because most of the times I don't work with the the weekends. Sometimes I work. Um, yeah, my schedule is not like uh, uh, it's flexible, but at the same time, it's not it's not like I don't expect it. Like I might have like a uh, student that might like because private lessons like. Uh, it's not me like putting the shit away, depending on my students whenever they want it. And sometimes like they don't work on the weekends and they want to have, to have classes on the weekend. And uh, you normally say yes. Inshallah. Do you guys have any questions or do you have any word that you found it like hard to pronounce? If you have any word that you find it hard to pronounce, try to write it for me right now so I will help you to pronounce it. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, my good say shukran. So any word that you're going to learn, try to use it more so that you can add to it. Even if you're going to mix English with Darija, for example, you can say uh, shukran la listen if you didn't know like what the listen in English. Same for yes. Shukran ala dars. So the courses or the lesson is dars is one dars, and then toros is plural, which mean listens. Ala wajib bislama. مزروب مسلمه وتصبحوا على خير ويري صباح على خير واي از جود نايت سلامه يس نو مزروب از لايك ان هوري از ان ادجكتيف تو سي لايك ام ان هوري اند مشغول از بيزي مشغول مشغول از بيزي Mishgul is busy and uh, Mizrub is like in hurry when you are in hurry to do something. Um, what? Which one of the questions, uh, Shiva? Which one? Ala wajib yasin. Yes, is like yasin, right? Ala wajib.
Yes, um, Emilets Diaoli, Diaoli is mean like my Emilets, right? And uh, if you say Diaoli is still going to say that it's, it's, it's going to mean the same, just because Emilets is already plural. And uh, this is why we normally say like Emilets Diaoli, which mean like my emails in plural, both of them. You can use Diaoli if you wanted to. Yes, it's already plural. Layla Saida, Subhala Khir Raoul. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the stream. If you have any question, I can answer it before I go. Not that I'm sleepy, but I know like most of people, like it's already late over there. Same over here, it's, um, it's about to be 11 p.m. But I already have to wake up early. So, Christian. Slama, where is Brian? Brian, I think I haven't seen you like uh, last one. Where are you from, Brian? Slama, Brian. Slama, Shivam. Santa Tala Prasak. Hello, Wajib. Okay, if I will I have a live tomorrow, if I will make it, um, it probably is going to be about. Let me see my. It's going to probably be about independent pronouns and possessive prona pronouns. And I'm American. I'm Sharfin Brian. Yeah, we didn't finish today. Uh, the last one was like, uh, for example, you can see, and I'm American. I'm from America, or can scon, which means I live in. Can scon. That one, Slama. Yeah, you are uh, like you are in, you now like living in the uh, town. You can see that. No, surfing. They are both correct. It's mean nice to meet you. Yes, we don't. Some people don't pronounce it, but we normally don't. We normally do the same sharfim, and same as you put like two a because uh, this is how you would pronounce it sharfim. Yeah, then okay, it's Bhola here or Bslam Alikum. Like, goodbye. And um, I was so happy to see all of you today. And I see you in the next live. If you have any question, please uh, contact me through my Jimmy. If you are interested in uh, private uh, one on one lessons, you can contact me through my Jimmy uh yes i think that's it for today thank you <laughs> yeah i i like um collecting cups so i'm going to start doing that i see you next time and come take care bye bye